to present a brand new bag review for you. So here is the beautiful, the lovely Kate Spade Cabana bag. This bag has been on my wish list for quite some time now, and two months ago, I received it. <laughs> I am so happy about it, you all. This bag has such an enchanting presence. Whenever I carry it, I get asked questions about it, and I just love it. I love it. I feel so special when I carry it because I feel like I'm the only one in the world with it. <laughs> And that's kind of what novelty bags do for me. They really get me in this zone of feeling like I live this alluring lifestyle, right? <laughs> I love it. Let's get started. What is wonderful about this bag is, of course, the top handle. And I love that the top handle is navy blue. You all know I have that other Kate Spade birdhouse bag. Love that bag. <laughs> I carry that bag often. And I have carried that bag a lot this season as well. However, whenever I carry that bag, it has a white top handle. The underside does get quite filthy. <laughs> so I'm so glad to see that this is a dark navy blue handle. It makes me happy because I know that it will stay looking cleaner longer. And speaking of looking cleaner, the stripes. The blue and white stripes are just divine. They're captivating to me. I love looking at the stripes because they are vertical stripes that match with almost anything that you wear. So I'm wearing this polka dot navy blue blouse, which I love and I thrifted. And I think it looks gorgeous with the stripes. <laughs> I just love it. Go ahead and get into the outside of the bag so I can explain to you why I love this bag. Okay, first of all, the shape. It is in the shape of a cabana tent as if I'm going on vacation and I'm here for it. So you see on the side here, it says Kate Spade Cabana in the gold lettering and it's metal, it is gorgeous. Take a look. You know, it's details like this that make me wanna buy the bag. <laughs> Whenever I see lovely details like this, it really does make me want to have that this bag in my collection, and I'm so glad I have it. And then you have the star of the show, right? The, the charm. This charm is <laughs> exquisite. Look at it, you guys. It is a little folding chair that you could enjoy on a beach paired with sunnies. Now, this particular charm is attached in such a way where I thought I would be able to take it off, but you cannot remove this. And that's fine with me because it goes so perfectly with the bag. Now on the bottom, it is navy blue, which I love, but it's not white. I do, however, wish there were feet on the bottom, but I will take the navy blue bottom. I love the dark base. And then you have this wonderful clasp for entering inside of the bag and everything comes up to this little point as a tent would, and there's a gold little piece at the top, just perfect. You've got the gold D-rings on the side. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this, but the bag is quite squeaky. It kind of reminds me of my Kate Spade Remedy. That bag is squeaky as well when you hold it by the handle. Honestly, I've been carrying this off and on for two months. I don't mind it. I don't mind the squeakiness. I wonder where it comes from, but it is quite squeaky when you hold it by the handle and carry it. Now let's go ahead and get inside so you all can see how I have this lovely beauty packed. Gonna go ahead and turn the little knob right here and then open it. And that's how it opens you all. And you can see the top handle is not in the way of you opening the bag. As a matter of fact, I love that they made the top handle a little bit taller so that you can easily get in and out of your bag. So popping out, you all see I have some Kleenex and you could fit a full size package of Kleenex. It's just that I'm trying to use these little babies first before I add in some more. And here is how it looks inside. Take a look. Hope you all can see. I'm going to start pulling my items right out of this bag so you all can see what can fit and then I'll put them back in. You can kind of imagine <laughs> how the, the inside is and all of the area space that you have, which isn't a lot. 
So I'll start with my cellular device. I have the iPhone, I don't know, 13 regular size, and it fits perfectly vertically inside of here. And I imagine that a larger phone would fit as well since you have the tent part coming up to a point, so it would make room for a larger phone if necessary. Next, I have my wallet, which is the lovely Kipling Mini Creativity in the prom pink color. I love this color. As a matter of fact, I was just at the outlet and they had this color again with a different logo. And I think I'm going to go back and get that, y'all. <laughs> I hope it's still there. I, I don't know why I do this to myself. I see things at the outlet and then I think on it. But the outlet is not necessarily close to me, so if I see something, I should get it. But anyway, this color is perfect for the summer. I have my keys attached to it. Next, further in, I have off to the side my little lippy. <laughs> this is the NYX lippy, the butter gloss, and it's in the praline color. Love this. It's my favorite one. Also, standing vertically, I have my pen. <laughs> and last but not least because you're not gonna be able to fit a lot of items inside of here. I've got this cute little pouch that I received from Tori Birch when I purchased my, my bracelet. <laughs> so I've been using this as a little mini catch-all in this bag and it sits vertically, which is perfect. So I'm able to line up things neatly as you saw inside of my, my purse. I have my lotion in here, my little body butter. My little spray hand sanitizer. I need to refill this baby. My car key. Now, I should have some Tic Tacs on this side, but as you can see, I need to refill. On the other side, I have Excedrin because it's a must. It's a necessary thing that I need in my life to have some headache medicine. And down below, I have my nail clippers. Now, why am I having trouble pulling it out? Here we go. <laughs> my little nail clippers, just in case I have a little boo-boo. <laughs> All right, so this is the bag, you guys. I'm so pleased with it. And I'm gonna jump right into the pros and the cons as I am putting my items back in. So of course the pro, is stunning. You all, this is a stunning bag. It has a top handle, which I know y'all have noticed, all of my bags as of lately have top handles. And it's not to say that I am not gonna branch out and try other bags that don't have top handles, but I can't. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think those bags are cute, but it's just that extra plus of having a top handle, being able to quickly grab my items with ease that I gravitate towards. And I'm sure, because I have seen a couple of bags that have piqued my interest that don't have top handles, and I said to myself, Natalie, can you try something else? <laughs> but unfortunately, not at the moment. I'm not able to do that. So here I am putting all my items right back in. Let me grab my little lippy. And I want to show you before I add my tissue on top just how everything looks. Because it really is organized. It's nice and neat in there. And I love that. See how organized it is? Very organized. And then I just take my tissues and I just put those right on top, fold them in right on top. And honestly, <laughs> I don't really need my tissues. I'm not feeling in any type of way where I need to have them, but I just find it as a security reason to have tissues, just in case someone else wants them. I don't know. <laughs> I feel safe and secure when I have tissues is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and so the stripes are definitely a plus. I absolutely love that it has stripes. I just think that is quintessential for the summertime. Then, of course, the gold details speak to me. Not to say that I won't purchase a bag with silver because you all saw my Carl Lagerfeld bag had silver. I actually just ordered a Kipling bag that has silver details, so I love it. But gold to me just gives me that luxurious vibe that I'm here for. <laughs> and I think that's all for the pros, plus everything I mentioned earlier in the video. Now let's get to the cons. The cons. No fee. No feet, you guys. That to me is a big con, that there are no feet on the bag. I just think that makes the bag look a little bit more exquisite when it has feet. 
And so, yes, <laughs> I still purchased the bag without the feet, but these little fancy little mini bags need feet. They really do. <laughs> and the other con that I have for this bag is that the charm is not detachable. I feel like with time, I, I might want to take off the charm and put it on another bag, but that's not even an option unless I cut it off, unless one of you all have figured it out. <laughs> now, this bag does come with a, a long strap. Y'all know I don't need that, <laughs> but it comes with a long navy blue strap that you can go ahead and clip on both sides of the D-ring. I've never done that because this to me just screams top handle. <laughs> So thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Please um, check out my Poshmark. I have items that I've shown in past videos that I have loved and have used with care that I want to pass along the love with. <laughs> and so thank you so much, you all. I really appreciate you all for watching my videos and stay tuned for more grace and peace 